Welcome to Pulpa Mech's Classic Commentary. Uh, I'm Steve Mathis, and with me, none other than... This is David Pingree. Ping, uh, 95 San Jose. 95, our bikes weren't awesome at all. Uh, and Mitch will even admit that, but... This is near the end of the series? This race? Yeah, it went, yeah, San Jose and then right into Vegas. Okay, so a second. Oh, there's Damon Huffman? Yeah, Damon Huffman. Look at that little bastard. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he had a win streak going. He had not lost a race all season to this point. He was going for the perfect season. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And uh, all right. until Ricky came along, he had the the record for most wins in a season. Oh, okay. I, I went ahead and stopped that for him. Yeah, you did. And we, oh, did, did I just give away the race? Yeah, that's okay. There's a reason why we're doing it. Uh, Huffy was, uh, you know, to me as a kid in Canada, Huffy came out of nowhere. He wasn't a Bradshaw Renard or nothing like that, but he came out first two years, two champions. Boom, take that. Really? Yeah. Because if you watched, uh, you know, Loretta's and Ponka and World Mini and Man, he was winning. Uh, he all. was the guy? Yeah. He, I okay. mean, yeah. Decker would sneak a win once right. in a while. I would right. get one here and there, but he was kind of the guy. Right. And uh, uh, about 110 pounds. Probably. Maybe. Holding a brick. Put about 10 pounds in his pants. Yeah. And, uh, and so San Jose 95. Uh, what were you in the points? Do you remember going in? What, what um, fourth. Oh, okay. So fourth, yeah. yeah. So uh, um, did you – you were Suzuki privateer the year before. Oh, and there you are. Yeah, Nick, and, that's Rhino. And the Rhino. Rhino's waving right now to the to Leot guys in the, in the stands. Hey, your braces, they don't work. Come here. I'll show you. Uh, you got to unlock your hips. Um, they're starting grid for you. So, Travis Hodges. Okay. Yep. Qualified sixth. Yep. Jason Partridge. Kyle Partridge's older brother. What Rusty you, Holland, Chad Pedersen. What do you remember? Uh, uh, oh, Casey Johnson breaks his femur in this race. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. uh, what do you remember about the heat race? How'd you do? I don't remember the heat race. Nothing. Jason nope. Fernet, buddy of mine. Canadian. Pedro Gonzalez, he won the race the year before. Blair Morgan, too. And there you go. Your mechanic, RL, Randy Lawrence. Yep. Yep. Uh, super team, some might call. Some might call you. Maybe. Oh, um, I like those bikes that year. That's a good look. Yeah, they look, yeah. they're a little colorful. Yeah. But yeah. Next year that was kind of, I mean, look, there's, there's, is that Deegan? Is that the general? Yep, there's yeah. Kenny Watson. Yeah, there, Look yeah. at Kent. Yelling at him. Motivating him. Only yeah. the way that Kenny can. <laughs> uh, uh, would you like the track? Do you remember feeling good going to this main event? I mean, you qualified sixth, so it wasn't like you were, like, on it. Uh, well, I qualified third. Yeah. That was sixth, I think, right? Sixth, so. sixth all up. All right, all right. 30-second right. so board is up. Let me just uh, I, uh, mark ourselves here. 30-second board is up. And 95 San Jose, 125 main event. The guys are outdoor stadium, on the line. And... Uh, Wow. Yeah, this was the last year it ever it ever went to San Jose too. I think. Yeah, I'd, ne I'd never been. I, I came on the tour the next year and uh, five second board and gate drops. All right, here we go. So we're off. One twenty five main event. Did you pull the holy? No, watch this carnage. Boom. So oh. so Rhino and Huffy take each other out. Blow through the first turn. <laughs> Rhino, really? Yeah. Can you believe that that happened? Um. Wow, it's two of the heavy hitters right yeah. off the bat. Yep. So I was like fourth or something okay. offline. I, I don't remember how I did in my heat, but Corey Keeney, leading the corn dog. Um, this. Oh, look at you! Nice move to the inside. Boom! Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's strong. Um, year before you rode Suzuki's. Uh, were these? You know, nowadays everybody wants to get on the pro circuit bike. Uh, were these a lot better than your Suzuki? I mean, you know what I mean? Or was it uh, a, a little? Yeah, a little, you know, definitely a little bit better, but not. It wasn't. It's nothing like yeah, today. Right. It's nothing like where you get on the bike and you're like, holy crap. No. Um, this is also the day when you couldn't jump triples all the time. Yeah, a lot of people don't remember those days. Like they'll watch some of this old stuff and go, "Why weren't you jumping that?" But yeah. Here's the first you just turn. literally couldn't. Oh yeah, Rhino gets caught up in his back tire. Yeah. Mm, shocker. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does kind of cause a freeway park uh, parking lot there for a little bit. There's Blair Morgan, 734. The All those. Oh, there's, there's Deegan. Um, Kenny, not happy with you. Uh, Corey Keeney, privateer this year. Next year he would get a uh, full on uh, PJ One ride. So, mm. um, you know, took this to, took this place in pretty good. Kid from Minnesota. I grew up racing. Did you? Yeah, I really did. Oh, and oh, there. Boom! Take that. Forty one. Nice, nice move. Getting some. Same corner you passed the other dudes in. On lap uh, later. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. And th these two, of oh, look at this! Yeah. Oh, Rhino runs it in and hits a hay bale. Shocker. No chance to make that pass. No, zero chance to make that pass. Just angry right now. Steam coming out of his ears. Right. His brain isn't off. <laughs> Just <laughs> complete off mode. And there he goes doubling the triple. Um, again, uh, something that was common. See me pull the tear off. So hey, so dope. First time leading main event. Yeah. Oh, here, Casey Johnson, broken femur. Uh. 
he was a like a team green kid that got you know he got to do like three or four super crosses mm-hmm. with the team and i'll never forget this last lap i'm coming by he, he was like this precocious little you know excited kid real dorky kind of i remember him laying on the ground cheering me on as i went by with the last lap with a broken femur <laughs> He was just so excited to be <laughs> yeah, on the team. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> my legs broke, but that's okay. Go totally, pink. totally broken. And he called me that week. Uh-huh. Hey, man, good job. I just want to say good job. I'm like, all right. Yeah, dude, you broke your femur. Yeah, I didn't. Um, we didn't warm up to him right away. But what do you remember about the race being in the lead? What do you? I mean, um, take me back. Just looking good in the whoops too. Look at that, getting some. I, I don't. I just remember uh, kind of clicking off laps and Randy. Who's in second? That's a that's got to be a lapper, doesn't it? Um, two forty one. Looks pretty, looks to be pretty legit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Schnell? That's Greg Schnell. Really? I think so. Okay. Oh, look at that, <laughs> the Rhino. Oh no, it wasn't. No, uh, it was a Rhino he, move he though. That quick. Corn dog. Yeah, corn dog hits the deck. Um, yeah, here we go. Gonna probably get interrupted here right away <laughs> by some dogs going at it. Uh, <laughs> Good times. Good times. <laughs> that guy is in second, whoever that is. I think it's Schnell. Did oh, that guy just that loop was out? Travis Hodges. Oh, and he made it. And he made it. Uh, Two seven. That's Decker. That's so, Decker. So Decker, the very next weekend, his shock blew up in Vegas on the face of a jump, and he broke his back. And he was out for a year almost, right? Yeah, I think at least a year, yeah. Yeah, a long time. Um, what are we seeing here? Oh, okay, corn dogs. That's corn dogs. Takeout move. That's Hodges. Yeah. And, uh, and that was... Uh, uh, Decker right there. Yep. Um, were you nervous? I don't really remember, to be honest with you. Chad Pedersen right there, swap dog. Huffy's coming up through the pack. Yeah. Um, Huffy was pretty gnarly, I'm not going to lie to you. He, he was skill, He huh? was the man, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he had a lot of skill. And, you know, uh, he admitted on a podcast that after he broke his, uh, broke his femur in Atlanta after he won, mm-hmm. came back from that, and shortly after that wrecked his shoulder, said he was never the same after that. Always scared to get hurt. Mm. That's what he was. And there's the 41. 41 in your program, but number one in your hearts, David Pingree. Was it cold that night? Remember that? It was a little chilly. All right. There's, uh, there's Casey getting tended to. Oh, what's the number one Huffy saying right here? But. Saying, I've never been laid, but it's just fantastic to ride for Suzuki. Oh, riding technique. Yeah. Uh, what I do normally is just stand up everywhere and really gently apply the throttle, and I'm so much better than everybody. I changed the whole sports outlook on having to be strong to be a motocross rider. <laughs> That's a good point. And Whenever uh, someone would say, "You, what about Damon Upman? That's what you bring up automatically. <laughs> yeah. uh, good point. Um, what, were your sal- what was your salary this year? Uh, 25000 bucks. Whoa, nice. Yeah. And what was it to win? Do you remember? Fifteen. Oh. I almost made my whole year's salary in this race, and I got... I got third in Vegas the next weekend. Yeah, and yeah, you doubled it. And and that was yeah, that yeah. was almost my whole salary. Um, so what do you remember about the track? Was it tough? Was it? Um, it was technical and tight. The stadium was pretty small. Yeah. It was it was uh, even smaller than like what Vegas is, is I think. Oh really? So oh, yeah. and they didn't go out of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So imagine if they just stayed inside the Vegas track, it would be pretty tight. So yeah, it's a good point. Um, but uh, but uh, you know, good racing. I like that. There's a lot of 180s, you know, where it switched back on itself mm-hmm. and you get. You know, you can make passes, stuff people. They need more of those in the Supercross yeah, tracks. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I don't know. You know it, it definitely provides good racing, no doubt about it. Well, anytime they're sweeping around a turn, like around a ballpark, you know, making 45-degree yeah. turns, especially on these four-strokes, you're going to go inside. Yeah. Why would you ever go outside? Yeah. And, so. who, and who's going to get by you? And there you are again. 59.7. Good time. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, good gear, too. I like the gear. The Axle was always a good look. You know, Mitch, uh... uh Mitch went Axel. It was Axel forever. And then uh, did well, he go to? Th- this is when Axel was cool. Yeah, it is Chanel. Look at that, 241. 241, wow. Yeah. Uh, of course, Pashon could wear JT. He had a different set of rules. Yeah, well, and uh, <laughs> same with Ricky. When he came on, he wore Fox. Right. As well, the second year, you know. Yeah, yeah. Y- if you're that good, you can kind of yeah. and re- rewrite who, the rules. Was Pashon on your team this year? Was he not, not there yet? No, next oh, year. Okay. Yeah, so who was your team this year? Uh, so it was me, Rhino. Um, uh, who was it? I don't know. Pedro? No, 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 it wasn't Pedro. Um, you know, somebody's going to email us and, and know it off the top oh, of our heads. Like, you know, put on, putting on the spot. Uh, Maybe it was Pashan. I think it was Pashan, actually, yeah. 
Um, he was on the East. Hmm. Um, there's Schnell. That must have been, this must have been like his first up, up being up front too, right? Had to be. I don't remember Schnell at all until uh, Chaparral maybe or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in a couple years from now. First time I was like, who? Great Look at him doubling through the whoops. Sad. He's got Huff Daddy on him. Yeah, oh, he's getting eaten up right there. Yeah. Uh, uh. Huffy's bike's probably a little better too. Oh, that was pretty. Oh, look at Chanelli. He wants some. He wants some of the guy that's been undefeated this year. Um, what'd you get along with Rhino on your team? Um, Rhino tolerated me, but uh, he just thought you were some punk kid. Yeah, pretty much. He he didn't want to help. You know what I mean? Rhino's right. not the kind of just hey, let me let me help you. Right. Me. Right. It, it was war. It yeah, was war. No, it was, you were taking money out of his pocket. Yeah. So. It would have been nice to have a teammate who would, you know, mm -hmm. help me out, but that wasn't the case, really. <laughs> uh, Mitch is gnarly back in, too. This is 95, Mitch. Yeah. This is yelling, Mitch. This was back when Mitch's way of communicating was screaming as loud as he could, <laughs> waving his hands, <laughs> and demoralizing you. Uh huh. Uh, was uh, Mike Hooker around then? Yeah. Hooker Hooked did all of our okay. engines. Yep. Uh, Jimmy Perry? Yep. Yeah. Bones? Yep. Oh, still Bones there. was Everybody still was, there, yeah. yeah. Still the core of the team, and the same guys that kind of run it today, except for Hooker and Jimmy. But um, this track looks gnarly, dude. It looks. It pretty was tight and technical. That right that's there. kind of the stuff I like too. I I was uh, I was better when it was slower and more technical. Right. And I can't uh, help but think that uh, uh, another race we did of these '99 Minneapolis, same kind of track, technical. Tight and technical. Yeah. Tight. You know. Yeah. Oh, here comes Rhino. Yeah, no, 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 no. Looking down, he was ready to jump on somebody like Super Mario. <laughs> by, squash their heads. By Decker. Hey, is that story true that Decker, did he sue Suzuki because of his shot? Uh, that's, uh, that's what I heard. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard that, yeah. yeah I don't know. You know yeah, okay. Um, I did hear something about that, though. And he came back on Honda Troy ride the next or two years later or whatever and then got on Mitch's team again. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was back. Well, uh, not, not again for the first time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and, and there's a day, final lap. Final what do you lap. remember? Come on. Take us back. Just being nervous. Yeah. Like, Thinking. just don't screw up. Look at me doubling through the whoops like a pansy. But it, It's pretty amazing that you've never led a race before, and then the first time you lead, you win. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> Look at me looking back. I just can't believe it. I think I, I, think I, I, think I do a one-hander. This is really gay, but so you can see I'm stoked. Yeah. You, nope, not even a one-hander. Didn't, do didn't even jump the finish line. You did do the one-hander up. Were you exhausted or it was just un um, unbelievable? Not right. super tired, just like... Right. You obviously put 15 laps together. You can't... Uh, it's such a gnarly feeling to win. Like, I don't know. There's just nothing else. Right. I mean, did you did you realistically really think you could win? You know I mean? um, or, or like, were you, when, at the beginning of the season, were you like, hey, I can well, win? Well, no, you, like, you might always tell yourself you can, but until yeah. you do, right. it's all just a bunch of BS in your head, you know? Yeah. So that's why this was just like. And, and, and you won, too, wearing a 100% cotton jersey with all those iron I did. <laughs> that, that jersey yeah. weighs. Of course, that was, that was the only option you had back then. Yeah, yeah, it weighs a, like a small child. You know what I remember about this race? I don't know what they'll show on the podium here, but um, Randy Lawrence was good friends with Sean Palmer. Okay. And uh, Palm actually tried to qualify for this race. Oh, he did? Okay. Didn't, he didn't make it. So he still it. had dreams of moto. Even oh, back yeah. Then. Oh, even back then. Yeah. So he uh, he made the night show, but he didn't qualify for the main or something like that. What is that guy doing? Did you see that guy? Yeah, he hard, like, hard to tell. Hard okay. to tell. He had like a blue. Hey, hey guys, Pingree won. We don't need to see Huffman. I know. Give How about sh let's show the champion tonight. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Palm somehow, this could have never happened today. They would have stage tackled him, but he jumped down onto the floor, ran to the podium, grabbed the bottle of champagne out of my hand, and drank it and poured it all over himself up on the podium. <laughs> and there's a young I wonder if we were able to see him. That was him. I think he's back here talking to Mitch. A couple injuries. What a dork I look like, huh? You didn't get your goggle strap right either. That was Palm right there just walking by. Uh oh. RL's camera diving. Look at him. <laughs> just it's such a clown. RL's camera diving right now. Yeah. We're just listening to the audio here. Um, ah, there we go. First main event win, 15 grand. What would you do that night? I don't remember. I think I made out with Randy Lawrence's sister. Oh, that's all right. Good job, <laughs> Dave Dye's wife. Now, <laughs> right on. Uh, we were we were dating a little bit back then. Oh, so yeah, yeah. sorry, Ran. Right. Yeah, there's, Roger. There's Roger. It's disgusted with Huffy. It's completely oh. disgusted. Yeah, got, got a second. Huffy's still happy though. 
Got second. Uh, not pissed at Rhino at all, despite Rhino causing that crash and ramming into the back of him. <laughs> he did the best he could, but it just wasn't good enough tonight. No, sorry, Damon. Sorry, Huffy. You got hit by Hurricane Pingree. Perhaps you've heard of it. Um, so he had clinched the title by now. Right? I'm pretty Maybe. sure. I, I mean, yeah, who knows? Um, do you have a one-year deal with Mitch? Two-year deal. I had a. What did I have? Our winner. Getting some air. I'm not sure if I had a one or two. By the I think way, two. Year Kelly deal. Smith when he won Mount Morris 2000. Yeah. Number 41. Yeah, you're right. It's a good number. 41. Oh, oh yeah. So he wrapped okay. it up tonight. There's Roy Jansen. Pumped as usual. You're like, what? what? Yeah, right on it. Yeah, good, good, yeah, job, good job. Whatever. I won tonight. Whatever. Look, he's, he got second to you. Do you know what I remember? I remember someone up in the stands right there mm -hmm. screaming something like, yeah, number 41, you rocked. I remember thinking, you don't even know my name. You just said number 41. <laughs> but whatever. Know. I'll take it anyway. Hey, 92, San Jose. Look, look back. Uh-oh. MC had a broken leg, I think. And he was riding. That's Huff Daddy right there. Oh! <laughs> Maybe when he was not so good. Didn't go that well. Not as usual. That's Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy was gnarly on that Honda. I think he had a broken leg. He had to race this race to clinch the title with a broken leg. Mike Craig? Stingray? Rhino. Oh. Buddy. Oh, Rhino went down. Rhino's on the ground. That's a shocker. <laughs> I'm completely surprised. Uh, if one would listen to these podcasts that we do, <laughs> just think that we'd have nothing better to do. In, in look at that side. that was like a gnarly right whip. like you were the man that gear looked good too um here we go with some heat race uh, highlights here uh, 250 class it's a trip how different supercross looked back then huh like bright orange gate Just, yeah hay bales hay bales, yeah, hay bales they cost me a broken femur those hay bales why i landed on one and broke my femur you landed on um feet out or no like i just landed on it and they you land on a hay bale it doesn't move so your bike just stops and you eject. If you land on a tough block, you oh. see that happen all the time now. Oh, you land on your bike. Okay, on your yeah, bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right, right. Like I kind of jumped off right, the track and right. landed on one. You see guys do that now and they just sort of like either push through it or they'll slowly like roll off of yeah. it. Um, but I have seen hay bales explode before. But. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, Henry wins, Kodrowski, Larry Ward, John Dowd. Extreme gear. I always thought that the guys who line up on the outside, the privateer guys, always get a lot of TV time. Yeah. You know, from the cameras. Not a bad move. I guess, yeah. Guy, if you you're going to stink it up anyway. Right. And you want to be on a TV? Yeah. Why not? Dr. D, he won this race last year, the year before, 94. His That's only right. Supercross win. Yeah. Bradshaw coming from the end. Who's wearing a helmet cam? Might be Rich Taylor. Next friend goggles, Rich Taylor. Did you uh, did you begin? You're obviously from Arizona, from Montana, but you're based in Arizona for kind of when you first started. Were you buddies with these guys at this point? McGrath, um, Big, Rocco. Oh, never mind, Rocco. I took that. I think the back. Um, no. Were you no. buddies with these guys? No, uh, because Randy Lawrence was working for me, um, and and Phil Lawrence lived with us. Right. You know, I I lived with Randy and Phil lived with them, so. I got to be buddies with Phil, and Phil was good friends with Jeremy and Budman and Rhino and all those guys. Okay. So I was kind of riding with them and hanging you, out with them a little bit, going to the gym with them and stuff. But Were you sort of the kid that didn't say much, though? Cause you were, yeah, 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 you know, right. well, to just, like, come in and all of a sudden you're hanging out with Jeremy Whoa. McGrath, you're not going to say a whole lot. Swink, see you later in the yeah, whoops. Swink was gnarly <laughs> in the whoops. Swink was a bad dude. Um, yeah, so you kind of just mind your P's and Q's. Well, you know. Swing was awesome. That was really lame, wasn't it? Yeah. Good rider, though, Swing. Yeah. Um, Kyle Lewis, uh, Nolan Yamaha. Which? No. Next Mike year. Brown. Downtown Mike Brown. Um, yeah, he kind of quit for a couple, for a little while, and then he came back and uh, did pretty good on his on his comeback. Could never ride a 250, though. Like, he could run, 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 run. Never. No. Nope. Never. I remember when Mitch even gave him a few rides on a PC 250 and just. Just couldn't put it together. Who's this guy? Jeff DeMant. Is it on, really? On a, just a hideous KTM. Not not good styling this year. The, oh, the folks that. in Aust Austria were, were not uh, not on it this year. Factory Phil? Factory Phil. He was privateer. Dave Feeney worked for him this year. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Um, I remember their first day at the test track, Dave Feeney forgot to tighten his pipe 
His pipe, his whole <laughs> pipe fell off <laughs> off a triple. <laughs> hey, welcome. Feels like this could be a long season. <laughs> Is that the hoopster? I don't know. 35. There's Albie. First year in Super Oh, God, he's going to crash. <laughs> Just look it's out. It's not good, right? Maybe that's Deacon 35. No, Deacon was in your class. Or was he riding two classes? I don't know. Could you ride two classes back then? Albie's got the hammer. Oh, you could ride two classes back then. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, let's put the helmet cam on Albie. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> wrap it in bubble wrap. Good idea. Boom. There's the doctor. That is Deacon 35. I'm it is, sure. isn't it? Yeah. Well, Albie's pulling together. Uh, one of the things Albie told me recently in the interview. Oh, that was awful. Never should have raced Supercross his first year over here. <laughs> no? Wished he would have not done it. <laughs> and I could say, obviously, that's, that's probably a good idea. Takatero Atsuta. Oh, remember him? Who could forget? Kamikaze. <laughs> the Asian pilots. <laughs> uh, Rusty Hall. Jeff Hedden. Haven't heard that name in yeah. a long time. Didn't Hedden get busted cheating or something? I don't know. No, it wasn't Hedden. Never mind. I take that back. I shouldn't say that. Sorry to the Hedden family. Um, <laughs> all right, San Jose. Main event. Look at Dowd's helmet. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> Maybe you can pull that chin bar a little further down. It looks like huh? the Excite Bike guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it is some ugly gear, too. Oh, man. Gear just did not look good in the mid 90s at all. It doesn't look good now that much. It doesn't really look good now. It's some guys could say that. Mm. Um, did you, and you rode some 250 races this year, right? I did. I, I got a Daytona race with you in it. Yeah. And yeah, you, I did. You went um, early, though, I think. No, I broke a chain. That's I was it. actually running like around 10th. Yes. I was yes. doing okay, and then I broke a chain. I can't believe, though, like first year on the on the, on the the team. Oh, my God, that's hideous. Look, that's just Cliff Palmer. Cliff Palmer. What are you doing? Wasn't he doing Guy Cooper's wife, too, around this time? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that Probably happened. Probably before, though, I think, mm. before this time. But um, well, It wasn't because he had a cool-looking gear-bike combo. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Hey, you know what would get, look good with these yellow plastics and flames? A black rear fender. And purple gear. And then let's put some purple <laughs> gear on it. Oh, man. Um, it's pretty gnarly, though. Like, okay, first year on the team, pro circuit team, and here's the main, the main event. Uh, I don't know. The whole show. I'm guessing Jeremy McGregor. Oh, Jeremy. He's gone. Um, he's already at Havasu. Yeah. Uh, oh, see? Who was that? I don't know, but he almost died. Stupid hay bales. He landed on He survived. Well, he clipped it. Um, here's my point. First year on the team, basically the 125 kid, and Mitch lets you ride a 250. Yeah, and I was a kid. I was like, yeah. Well, I did uh, Indianapolis. Yeah. And I did pretty good there. Oh. Oh. Nice move. That's Albie, by the way. Yeah, Albie just blew someone's shoulder out. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Oh, there goes Henry. No, that's Lammy, I think. Are you sure? Oh, maybe it's Henry. Maybe Lammy's five. And I don't know. I don't know. That seemed like... Hey, this, how come this looks clearer than nowadays? I, that's what I was just going right? to say. Like, this is better helmet cam footage than we have now. Yeah, there's the, it's it's sad. I, I just please keep it on Albie when he just inevitably cartwheels. <laughs> he's, what are the chances he goes down? Like, I don't remember, but my but, guess is he's going to crash. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's why they maybe put him on the helmet cam. There's McGrath. This was... This was... The king of the king, right? I mean, he was un- unbeatable. Yeah. Skip was a, re- a weekly star. Skip yeah, Skip. He, he had to make sure his hair looked good because he was on camera. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, 95, Jeremy wins the title. Uh, 96 was when he won every race but one. So who, who beat him in 95 a little bit? Um, was it Yogi, I wonder? Mm, no. Remember. I don't know. Henry? And the next week was the lights go out in Vegas. Oh, so it was Emig. Emig won that one. Yeah. That was the one. Did you did you race the lights go yeah. out? And were they oh, yeah. out for the 125 main? Or was it yeah. Just, oh, okay. Oh, no, it was out. It was dark. And how was it? Dark. <laughs> dark. <laughs> it was dark. <laughs> they brought in some cheap portable lights, and, and but it was How rough. much of it was the darkness, and how much was it the riders pissed off at the AMA and all that? Were, were you involved in it? No, nah, it was more of a, a pissing contest. I mean, like, okay. I think Jeremy was, you know, those guys were mad that they weren't being listened to, and right. you know, oh, it was more political than. Is this ninety five or two thousand and twelve? Yeah, I, I know. Well, uh, um, so it was dark, yeah. But it, but you. But it was wrong. rideable. I mean, shoot, you know, you go to like your local track and ride a. Jeff Demant just stuffed. Wow. Stuffed uh, Greg Albertson, three time world champion. I was on a him back. <laughs> purple KTM. I mean, if I was Alby, I'd crash too at this point. There it is. <laughs> oh, oh no! no oh my gosh! About. Oh, just about. Um, and also, too, like, it didn't help. Probably this is the worst bike on the track was the Suzuki RM250. 
You think it's worse than that KTM? No. Second worst bike. Uh, Larry Ward was good. Second in the series this year on an only Yamaha. And uh, you're right, that is Henry. I uh, always thought that uh, in this time, Lampson should have won a race. Man, he's so close so many times. MC, he must have 15 second place plaques at home. Yeah. Uh, to, to MC, you know. Um, nice, he tripled out of that corner. Doug Henry was gnarly. I remember watching him back around this time. Just, dude was fearless, man. You know, He'd go into whoops so fast. Hey, he was sketchy. Oh. He was sketchy. I don't know if it, I guess fearless also fearless, fits in there. Fearless, yeah. Right, right. Slash sketchy. He was not scared to grab throttle and no. just, just, just do something. And, and that's and that caused some issues, too, at different times with some top guys because he would uh, definitely uh, some, sometimes clean them out on you know, you know, accident. Who, you know who's really underrated is Larry Ward. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't you say? I mean, this guy finished, like, second to McGrath how many times in this – time frame a yeah, lot man he right. was beating guys like doug henry yeah. on the regular well i think part of larry's problem is he had a reputation as being a bit maybe flaky because he wrote for a lot of teams like honda suzuki then he went to only yamaha and then he went to honda short like it never seemed like he could keep his place and i don't know why that was but i think his reputation was that he was a bit flaky mm. i don't know maybe you can help me out with that well I, I like larry he's a good guy but look at henry double tripling that thing out of the turn going off right there that's nice but for i mean back back in this day there's no work spikes but there's a big difference between that works honda and larry wars no yeah and, you know, huge he's, he's he's hanging in there he's keeping him in keeping him in the running notice they're not even showing mcgrath too much he's checked out he's gone yeah. what was jeremy like back in the heyday when he was winning when he was the man um he's kind of the same as he is now just you know single dude was uh Swordsman. Swordsman. Yes. Got a lot of money. <laughs> kind of the man. The money, the man, huge right. boat at Havasu. Did he have the biggest boat? Like, was it a case yeah. of? It was big enough. <laughs> big enough to fit all the women on the bow he needed. <laughs> you can only have so many women. And no, let's just... face it. I get into that problem all the time. <laughs> and uh, you're right. You have to allow you to... Look at Henry. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. No, Henry's gnarly. I'm telling yeah. you. He, he would do I stuff. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. Emig, this is the days of Emig hole shotting and getting pretty tired and going. Oh backwards. yeah, and still being, and but as wide as ever. Right, like this is where Larocco started to hate him. Oh look at that! Oh, he just about got landed on. Yeah. Man, if you didn't know, if you didn't know MC was out front, you'd be like, Doug Henry. He's the man. Yeah. And of course, later on this summer, would he be the infamous? Uh, oh. Uh oh. Demand. That KTM spit him <laughs> off. So he got his helmet off. Doesn't seem to indicate that he wants to get, pick his bike up at all. Oh, that bike right there. What a contraption. <laughs> Look at that skid plate. It looked like it was straight off a 77 Dodge oil pan. Um, yeah, Henry's pulling away. Looking good. Look at the AMA officials. Red, white, and blue. Hmm. Oh. Hay bales with no covers. Fro just did the triple under the turn. I guess he saw, it. I guess he saw Henry do it. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something here. I gotta pull, pull the trigger. I like the look of these Yamahas back then. They look good. Didn't like, you know, didn't like Fro's Thor gear though. Not, not. He looked a lot much better when it was a shift. This was back in the day. Do you remember at Supercrosses when they don't show it on the TV broadcast? But before the main event, they'd have you stand out in front of your gate. Yeah, and that's where you're from. And they'd walk down the line and announce who you are, and you'd whatever, say your little bit. Right. And Deegan, the year that I worked for Birdwell. Whatever city we were in, Deegan would say he was from that city. <laughs> and he would get a big applause. And, like, for St. Louis, he'd be like, East St. Louis, which I guess is the rough part of St. Louis. And then next week, we'd be like, do it again. And he'd be like, I'm from Brian Deegan, Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. You know what I mean? People would say, Woo! So that was, a, that was a good toss. Beginning of Deegan's rebel stature. Kudowski. <laughs> Solid ride. That's actually a pretty good idea. Oh, it is, right? Yeah. A lot of cheers. And, and you know you know the other riders are just laughing their asses off, right? Is that still the man? No, it's Albie. I think it's Albie. I think it was a yellow bike. Albie's down. It was only a matter of time. Oh, that was that, fact, that's factory. That was film. factory. Yeah, 42 on the Cali. Um, I, I don't wish ill will, but please let that be Albie. <laughs> <laughs> to make this show. You know it was Albie. I did one of these with Mitch Payton, 
and he called it like four tur turns before. He was like, I was going down. And sure enough, it was Glenn Helen. Oh, oh no. no, there he goes. Sure enough, it was Glenn oh. Helen. Albie swapped in, in, in a huge swapper and went over the bars. And Mitch just started laughing. Because you could just see he was ragged, you know? All right. Is it just me or do the styles on these guys look really hack? They don't look good. They're on 250s. You'd think they'd be able to clear that triple a little better. But no scrubbing. No, uh, I mean, really, it was tap the rear brake, right? Is that Jamie Dobb right there? Jamie Dobb. Yeah, on to Troy. And we're going to see uh, your time was what? 59.7? 59.7. Okay, well, they're going to keep up. We're going to keep it up to MC here. See where I did oh, these guys just look terrible. That was smell. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, hey. But a second faster, Bailey says. So, you know, ping. This is a lot for Pingree. Does Coming say quite Bailey a bit for there. Pingree. Does say quite a bit. Um, hey, I didn't see, but uh, was Huffy on you at the finish or not really? I mean, was he catching no, you? he was catching me yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I had him spotted and just I was kind of doing yeah. what I had to do. I, I could have right. probably gone a little faster. Yeah. If um, I needed to, but I was just trying to keep it on two wheels. Somehow Henry faded or made some mistakes, and now now he's got issues with Fro. Uh oh. And Larry's just doubling the triple. A. Like, when's the last time you see one of our guys only double the triple? You know, they could pretty much yeah. sit there at the base and crack it in second second gear and, and triple it. You know, first gear. Henry might be having some arm pump issues. <laughs> Someone should have given him a heads up before Buzz Creek. So you hey, if you get arm pump, let off for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, this is the future talking. <laughs> You're gonna have an issue at Buds. Back it off. <laughs> Do you remember listening to Jeff Emig try to say his name and where he was from back then? <laughs> no. Oh god, it was, it was a nightmare. It yeah. was. It was. Was he? Did he stutter like when you were at the hat in Havasu? At the, I mean, what did you uh, no, or seems, was it more cameras? Seems lights, like a couple like of Captain and Cokes really helped his stuttering problem. <laughs> but when you put him out in front of forty thousand people with a microphone, right? <sighs> yeah, he's done well for himself as far as being a professional commentator. It was like crickets in that whole stadium as he tried to get the word Jeff out. J J J J J J Jeff. Um, no, he's done well. He's done done really well to overcome that. And uh, yeah, that's a dog asleep but you're on your foot. Welcome to the Mathis household. <laughs> um, you know who was kind of underrated? Kurdowski. Four-time yep. AMA Outdoor Champion. Four-time. Oh, just no. Never. Here comes Jeff Rowe. Oh, yeah. Henry just will not let it go. He's going into the stands think, if that's what it takes. Think about these two guys. One, they're, they're both riding, riding wide bikes. They're both a little out of shape. <laughs> they both. <laughs> Jeff just made a bit. This is one thing I loved about two strokes, and you can argue whether you like them or don't like them all day long. Yeah. The racing was better because yeah. people made way more mistakes. Yes, I agree absolutely. I've written it and said it many times. You had to be perfect, and you, nobody could. Nobody could so, be perfect. Yeah, you were so, going to make mistakes, right. so it was just. And now, a guy comes out of the turn, 4-4 four, four, left, 3-4 right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's no mistakes. There's no there's no error anymore. These guys are struggling. I mean, we saw Larry Ward, one of the top riders in the sport, just double the triple two laps ago. Yeah. I mean, he couldn't just whatever happened. You know, he was in the wrong gear or whatever. Absolutely, you know, you're right, and, and I believe that four strokes have hurt the racing in Supercross. So, and these two guys, I mean. Is Jeff going to get him or what? I don't know, but it's funny to watch watch these guys go at it because Henry just foot-dabbed in a corner. <laughs> they both, <laughs> both overjumped the triple. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, no, what's going to happen? They look so slow, but they're, yeah. they're hauling ass. Well, this is a tight track. Yeah. I mean, it's tight, dude. Right. That Those are... <laughs> they just look a little stiff, huh? Like, yeah. I guess you get used to everybody today. Is, they're sideways off every jump. Yeah, they're Trying scrubbing. to scrub yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, everybody's doing it. You're right. Do you think it's all necessary? I think they've gotten faster. I think as much as I love my heroes like Barnett and... Oh, oh, nice. Yes, Big Bird. Got that was that. awesome. <laughs> he went, I mean, that was pretty much going to make it or somebody was going down. That was awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I, I For sure, there's, you know. Like, look at that. I don't think he could scrub on those bikes. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. He about killed Mike yeah, Kudrowski. Hey, look at Big Bird. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look right. at this battle going on. Yeah. We don't see stuff like this much anymore. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
was good, yeah. Oh, it's going to get ugly right here. Uh, Boom. Oh, man. And Kronowski's in shape, so you know he's fine Yeah, did right you now. see him he's just good. cut Emig off? Yeah. Well, Jump right across his face. He got face. that for the triple, for that last triple thing. I mean, these are the days, like we were saying, where Fro had a reputation of, like, hey, you're not in shape, but you're a good starter. You know? And, and he had a bad rep back then, no doubt, among a lot of the top guys. Then he figured it out and got really fast. He had a hot sister back then. Do you remember Paige, his girl, his sister? No. No. She's hot. Yeah, I remember sitting in the stands and must have been 94. No, it must have been 93. Yeah. Well, anyway. What? She was hot. I oh, just remember oh, seeing her, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. someone's like, that's Jeff Hemmick's sister. And I was like, oh. oh. She, does she live in California? <laughs> um, the, the, the racing nowadays. Yeah. The oh. Guy, the, look at Kronowski just charging through. Is he going to get Henry? I don't know. He's a beast. He's and where's McGrath? It. Just gone. Yeah. Gone. See you well, later. That's standard. Right. They're just not even going to bother talking to him. Right? Look at him. Look at Big Bird. You gotta like that. Yeah, you do. That's a that's a privateer going against factory guy too. You gotta like that too. Oh, and Emmett got him back. See? Yeah, like how did that happen? That's Mike Kradowski. He's in shape. He's a bad dude. Mistakes, dude. Mistakes. And boom. <laughs> to, 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 to take that. Like <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you just went there. Um <laughs> sorry. This and, is and, jokes. And the thing is, is like like you said, like see that mistake right there. If someone was on a four stroke, they would have been able to single double. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't do it on a two fifty. No. Especially not on one twenty five. Our our battles are a lot shorter too. They're maybe like a, a, a lap. And yeah, then somebody, and then somebody, somebody self destructs or right. it's just over. Right. Look at these things just go on. It's not me, right? I'm not just being nostalgic. Watch this racing right here. No, it's good. Dive into the inside, dive into the outside. Yeah. No, it's good. Oh, and here it comes. Boom. Gets like, him, gets they, him they back. They all swap spots. They like Kudrowski's in, the, in the, you know, in the front of the pack. Somehow, Emig got a second wind. That's a good move by Kudrowski. Staying inside and, and then he's just doubling. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, oh, Larry. <gasps> ta- oh, oh no. Oh, he gave, tried to give Larry some of his own medicine. Didn't work out. Oh, Mike, you gotta get some gear. Oh you gotta get man. Some better gear. Is factory fill up there? Probably, huh? Yeah, we saw him. No, but I mean, did he, was he, is he, he oh, just I got by him, so uh, was he like in six or whatever? I don't know. I'm not sure. The, uh, what, wait, how did Emmy get in front of Larry Ward? Well, we missed something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Big Bird's probably tired. Right. Did you, uh, uh, I mean, were you thinking when you were at Pro Circuit, uh, Kawasaki, were you like, hey, this is, I mean, I'm going to go to Factory Cali after this. And Do you know like what I thought? Because it was uh, it was so hard to just get a ride back then. Like, there was only, think of how many 125 rides there yeah. were. It was, you know, a few Eight. spots, four spots at Pro Circuit. Um, I think Honda of Troy at this point had a couple of 125 rides, right? Yeah. A yeah. couple spots at Suzuki. Two spots at Suzuki. Two spots at Yamaha. Nah, but they Wyndham. didn't have they didn't have factory 125 guys, did they? Yeah, Wyndham. Okay, yeah, you're right. One one spot at yeah. Yamaha. Okay, and that was it. So I thought, all right, if I just like survive, just like you know, continue yeah. to progress and kind of hold my position. Yeah. Guys like Kadrowski and, and Larocco and Larry Ward, these right. guys are gonna. Yeah. They're gonna move, go away. They're gonna go away, and then I'm gonna move up. I'm just yeah. we're just all gonna flow, you right. know. All right. And uh, I just had some injuries, and, and it got to where the factory jobs, I don't know, man. No one retired. Those guys stayed in it for so long. <laughs> it's like, hey, guys, get out of well, here. Well, LaRocco, he yeah. just freaking retired like a couple years ago, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. You're right. Um, You're right. Good point. And then, you know, you had your Carmichaels come in, mm-hmm. this guy and that guy. And anyway, yeah. it just didn't work out the way I'd hoped. Um, yeah, well, well, this night did, though. This night certainly worked out the way you That's hoped. That's right. It sure did. 95 San Jose, 125 winner, David Pingree. Uh, thanks for doing this, bud. Appreciate it. Of course.